All right, we're in the kitchen celebrating local oysters today, and the Virginia wines that are perfect for pairing from Chatham Vineyards on the Eastern Shore. First, we have Charles Stain, chef from Island House Restaurant in Wachapree, and we're going to bring in John and Tom in just a little bit. But what are you going to make for us today? Good morning. It's nice to be back yes. in the Hampton Roads kitchen. Thanks for being um, here. I am first. I'm starting a cream that I'm thinking of actually making a bechamel for. Uh, oysters Rockefeller, we're going to get to that in the, Your the next segment. Your version of the Oysters Rockefeller. So okay. if you can stir that, I'll start mixing this okay, up. We'll Got to keep that moving. Okay, so we're going to do this, and you're going to make a cucumber I'm salad, do, yep. and all this is for your Oysters Rockefeller. That's for the Oysters Rockefeller. We're also going to be making Oysters Paramore today. So two hot oyster dishes and one accoutrement to some cold oysters that Tom's going to be shocking all right, over there. All right, we're going to get started on that. We're going to shuck oysters. Oh, well, you all forgive ready? me if I'm brought to tears <laughs> because it's standing. I'm standing right top of a bucket of onions right <laughs> okay. here. Mm. All right, we're going to be back in just a second. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. All right, welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. I'm here with Tom Gallivan from Shooting Point Oyster Company. You are an oyster farmer, and I you're am. going to show Dick and I how to shuck an oyster, correct? I am, I am. These oysters that we have here are cage cultured oysters. They're grown, they're hatchery produced seed. And one thing, there's a lot of oysters. Uh, there's been sort of a renaissance of oysters uh, in the bay. And these oysters are, are wonderful, mm -hmm. a lot of meat in them. Okay. But they're, they're sort of thin shelled. These, this particular group of them is from the bay side. Okay. So a little trick that we've been encouraging people to use a traditional shucker would use a stabber like this, a commercial shucker, okay. and break the bill and go in like that. All right. It's a little bit dangerous to okay. do it that way. So, so you're going to show us the easy way, right? You can use a <laughs> pair of scissors. I okay. uh, have a pair of needle nose pliers. And because these oysters are grown up off the bottom, they have mm -hmm. a very thin bill. Okay. And you can, you can just carefully break the bill off All until right. you can see the very edge of inside the oyster. And you can use... I mean, you can almost use a butter knife, but if oh, you I see, see. Yeah, right yeah. there, you okay. can see that you can see into the oyster now. Wow. And then you use a thin, a thin knife and just carefully insert the knife like that. Okay. The muscle that holds the two shells together. This is the cup side of the oyster. This is the flat side of the oyster. Okay. You you want to keep the cup side up. Okay. Or cup side down rather, flat side up. <laughs> and excuse me. And uh, <laughs> and cut. And cut and okay. cut the muscle. Keep the knife nice and flat. Okay. Cut the muscle like that. And then slide the knife back slowly. It looks so simple. Yeah. But and juicy. <laughs> it's a little, but you want, you want to preserve that. That's called the liquor. You okay. want to preserve that liquor because. Can, I try, can we try one? Absolutely. Okay, really All right. We're try All right. One. There we go. No, no weed. You, you yeah. go ahead. No, I'll no, do the I play by play. Smart man. Smart man. Because, because right. what I'm going right. to do is I'm going to take this part off and then I'm going to have Dick actually. Uh, actually. Uh, there you go. Uh -huh. Is that good? Yeah, you might. Well, a little bit more. A little bit right more. Right here? But it's kind of the, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, uh, you see it? Uh, so, <laughs> there, right there. And that's where you want to. You got to be here, kidding. I'll, I'll start it. For yeah, you. good idea. <laughs> and now, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Tom. You have a rookie, a rookie, uh, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. And then you just kind of. Okay. It is a team effort. Be careful. See, sure, give me the bad part with the sharp <laughs> instrument. What? There you go. You, you got, got it. it. You got you it. Got it. Now, now cut that muscle right here. Go in a little bit more and just try to cut the muscle. You mean this way? Yep. Okay. This right. is the first. You saw okay. first. Dick Lamb's now, a Baltimore an guy ought to know how to open an oyster. Yeah, That's sort exactly. Sort of something they teach in, in second grade, I would think. I there. first saw oysters with my, my grandparents at, on the Rappahannock River, pulling an oyster out of the of the water, opening up and going, <laughs> slurping it right there. Well, you down. keep shucking that oyster. Tom, I'm going to jump over here with Chef Charles to get started on this cucumber salad. And he did you it. You guys keep doing that. Dick, you can join me over here when you're ready. Okay. You got to clap. <laughs> All right, back That's in the kitchen. Good, All right, right, getting started on. I shucked an oyster. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, please go ahead. Cucumber salad. What do we want to get started it's on? Simple. I'm gonna. If you will stir this, okay. I, I'm, I've got that thickened with a roux, so I need to constantly stir uh, it to okay. get the gluten out of the. the gotcha. It takes the pastiness out of the sauce. Right. This is not rocket science. <laughs> the hard work is done by you shucking the oyster. Oh yeah, sure. So um, what I've got is some fresh dill, some freshly chopped uh, cucumbers, a little bit of adobo seasoning. I am going easy on the seasoning because those are salty oysters. You always have to have a balance. Uh, some parsley. I don't want the dill to overpower it, but I want the color contrast, so I'll put a little more parsley in. Some shallots, not a lot. <laughs> uh, a little bit of sea salt, just a bit. A little bit of olive oil. I love how you eyeball all your ingredients. And a little <laughs> bit of white wine vinegar. Okay. We're going to mix that up. 
let it sit. We'll check it for taste here in just a couple of minutes. Okay. And we're going to top that on some of the raw oysters when we get to eat them at the end of the show. Gotcha. Wow. Okay. So that was quick and easy, the cucumber salad. Of course, we'll have all the ingredients on our website, theamptonroadshow.com. But also, you can also just go down to the Island House restaurant and watch it free Absolutely. and get it. All right. So... I think we have to wrap this first segment, but I know in our next segment we're going to talk to John about some of the wines and we're going to finish up your version of the Oysters Rockefeller and yeah. the cucumber salad. And then at the end, we get to taste get it. To eat them. Yeah. Let, let's Art. get to the wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> this you. Is the Buzz Center. Welcome back, everyone, in the kitchen with a celebration in Eastern Shore cuisine. We're doing all things oysters. We have Charles Stain, chef from Island House Restaurant in Wachapreeg, and we just shucked oysters in our last segment with Tom, and we're going to talk about some wines at uh, Chatham Vineyards in just a little bit, but this is what you were working on. Tell our viewers uh, what you added. Looks like some spinach. And I made bacon. a classic bechamel. I've okay. got it thick in the way I want it, a little bit thicker because you want it to have consistency to, to fit on the oysters. Fresh spinach and good cured surrey bacon okay uh we're gonna mix that up let that sit for a little while i'm gonna top the oysters okay put some provolone cheese on it pop it in the oven how long in the oven how uh, about 10 minutes oh that's up it. there okay. i like it to, you don't want to cook the oyster too much just enough to mm -hmm. get the oyster uh to, to get a little texture to it and, and brown the cheese and okay. you're ready to go and we'll show that at the very end okay what were we working on here this is uh one of our signature dishes at the island house we're going to make a oysters paramour paramour okay. is one of the islands when you sit in our dining room and you look out over the ocean you can see mm -hmm. Cedar Island and Paramore Island. Okay. Uh, so that's what it's named after. What I've got is some Duke's mayonnaise, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of seafood seasoning, uh, five eggs, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of uh, Lee and Perrins. Okay. I'm going to mix that up really well. Then I'm going to put crab meat on top of the oysters and put this mixture on top of that and bake it along really? with the oysters rock Wow, so you don't just They're get awesome. one version of just the oysters, throw some hot sauce on it. You guys do it up a lot. Um, how was Valentine's Day for you guys down there? We were slammed last really? night. It was a really good night. Um, we uh, packed the house all night, had some nice specials and a lot of happy people. We had uh, violinists walking oh, through the dining room oh, and uh, nice. roses for the ladies. So it was a very, very, very nice night. Did that surprise you any that they would come out on a weeknight like that? I mean, don't a lot of people do weekends when it's uh, it, 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 it's actually better in the restaurant business. Um, mm -hmm. They actually spread out through the weekend and into uh, the week. So you, it, it, you get the best of both. Wow, well, that is get good. four or five extra days of business. So All right, great. well, as you get that going, uh, what would oysters be without some wine? I want to bring in John Winter. You are with Chatham Vineyards. You are a wine grower, and you're going to talk about some yes. of the wines that you brought with us here. Welcome to the Hampton That's Road right. Show. What would you bring for well, us Well, thank you. It's just a short trip from Chatham Vineyards, so less than an hour away, and I brought three wines. Okay. Uh, the first wine is a steel fermented Chardonnay. Uh, it's the free run juice, the first pressing of the whole cluster, and it has nice crisp acidity. It pairs beautifully with the uh, saltiness of the oyster. Mm -hmm. And then I brought two reds. I have a Merlot and Vintner's Blend, and I, I'm going to pair these two reds with the warm oysters because the oysters have nutmeg mm -hmm. uh, and bacon similar to the flavors that we have in the two reds. So okay. the Merlot has nice soft tannins and it's going to pair well um, with the oysters. And Vintner's Blend is a blend of all the red grapes that we grow okay. in the vineyard. And we actually produce 75 tons wow. of grapes a year and we bottle 3,200 cases. So for those who have never visited Chatham Vineyards, explain where, where you're located at and how big the grounds are and what you guys sure, do. Sure, sure. And you said for Valentine's Day you guys yes, have something going yes. on. Uh, Yes, yesterday evening we had a barrel tasting, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of fun. We tasted the new vintages of 2010 and 2011, and uh, the winery has a lot of events. This weekend we're going to be serving Church Creek oysters with our, with our steel Chardonnay, and we mm -hmm. have a fire pit, so it's a nice environment for people to come. Uh, we have a 20-acre vineyard, so when you drive in, you see this large vineyard. Mm -hmm. Chatham, uh, the home on the label is an 1818 federal period home named after the Earl of Chatham, who was friends of the Americans during the Revolution. Okay. And then we have a state-of-the-art winery uh, that produces about 10,000 gallons of wine a year. Nice. Now, are you a red or a white? I like both. One of my favorite pairings is freshly shucked raw oysters with the steel Chardonnay. And Dick, this was your segment. You were waiting on the Yeah, line. I was I probably <laughs> saying, John, you probably need us to test this out uh, right. before you really start serving it, don't you think? Absolutely. That's you, why the glasses are poured. Do you prefer red or white, Dick? I'm a red guy. You are? Yeah. Merlots and all that. Oh, yeah. Love that Merlot. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Stuff. Yeah. So what is, 
you know, when people come to a wine tasting, um, you know, a lot of people think when you have cold dishes or with fish, you pair the white, and then, like you said, with the oysters, right. Rockefeller, because it's warm, you do the red. Is that generally kind of rule of thumb, or do you guys go over all Well, I look more at texture mm -hmm. when I do a wine and food pairing. For instance, the Merlot is a very versatile wine. This is a, a wonderful wine if you want to have red. Mm -hmm. uh, it's versatile because it has soft tannins, and it has a tremendous amount of fruit. Okay. So a uh, very versatile wine. I'm also a red drinker, so uh, Merlot is going to make a big comeback here. Two reds. <laughs> I prefer a white, but we are going to put all of this together. Uh, we're going to have our wines at the end, and we're going to present it, and we're going to bring our friends over and taste it when we come back. John and Chef Charles, thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Oh, we, Chatham Vineyard, we want to tell you where they're located, 9232 Chatham Road in Machipungo on the Eastern Shore. You have a kayak winery that's tour right. from Southeast Expeditions. That's $85 per couple. That includes a bottle of Church Creek wine. You can log on to chathamvineyards.net or give them a call, 757-678-5522.